What if I told you there was a way that people would come to you with a job offer that would pay you 20 to 30% more than what you are making right now? How much would you pay for a service like that? $100? $1,000? Well, I have good news. This actually exists and it's totally free. All you have to do to get new job opportunities knocking at your doorstep that will pay you 20% more than what you make today is create a LinkedIn account. Super simple. That's right, I'll say it again, you can get a 20 to 30% raise for free. As a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just a really big fan of LinkedIn as a platform and the utility of LinkedIn in general. And as a recruiter, I just assumed it was a no brainer that everybody knows about LinkedIn and everyone would have one because who doesn't wanna make more money and get jobs coming to them, right? But I've been learning recently that a lot of you actually don't have a LinkedIn and I wouldn't be a good career coach if I didn't make a video telling you about all the benefits and how to create a LinkedIn for yourself so that you can take advantage. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set up your LinkedIn with the least amount of effort. And I promise it won't even take that long. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step of how to set up your LinkedIn so that you can start to get these great benefits. And if you like this video and you want more career tips just like this, make sure you click subscribe down below or share this with your friend who doesn't have a LinkedIn. Now, you might be thinking, I'm really happy at my job. I don't need a LinkedIn because I'm never gonna leave. I'm gonna work here until I die. Well, that may be true. And to be honest, most of the time when people do accept a new job, a new better job that pays them more, maybe even gives them a bit of a promotion, they were never actively looking in the first place. That's what makes these opportunities so great is that a recruiter at one of these companies that you've never heard of, or maybe even your dream company, reaches out to you with a unique opportunity and then you are able to interview and get this awesome job. A lot of the best opportunities often show up when you least expect it. And as a recruiter, trust me, this is so true. Some of the best people that I have hired have never been looking. I messaged them on LinkedIn. They were on vacation in Cabo or something. They see my message and they think, eh, what's the worst that can happen? I'll just have an informational call. And then they end up joining my company, getting a 20 to 30, sometimes even 50% pay raise and they love their job. So why would you wanna preclude yourself from any of these types of opportunities? Plus, if you were to ever unfortunately get laid off, which right now there are some economic shifts happening right now, or maybe you don't like your boss and you realize that you are in a toxic work environment and you wanna go somewhere else, it's always good to have a backup plan, right? And so that's when having a LinkedIn is great. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up your LinkedIn in the fastest way possible without putting a lot of personal information out there on the internet. Because I know this is the number one reason that people don't don't have social media accounts in general is because they're worried about getting hacked or getting their personal information stolen. So don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to set up the LinkedIn super easy so there is nothing holding you back and you're not gonna be putting too much information out there on the internet. So first you're gonna go to linkedin.com and then you're gonna click this join now button up here. Now you, know, you need to create a, or use an email to create a LinkedIn account. So what I would say is create a brand new totally separate email specifically that you are gonna use only for LinkedIn. That way, this is not linked to any of your other personal or bank accounts online, and so that way you can't get hacked. And now you also have a dedicated place where you can just go and look at uh, incoming job opportunities. So go ahead and create a brand new email, and then come back to LinkedIn, and I created one which is use for video. And then you need to just create a password. And here you're gonna be asked to give a name. So just put your first name and then you don't have to use your full last name here. You can just put the initial. That way they can't look you up, they can't Google you, they can't steal your information and this doesn't stop recruiters from sending you messages. Just because you only have an initial, it doesn't mean recruiters are not going to message you. 
because as long as you fit the profile and you have the skills and experience that they want, they're still going to send you messages. You don't have to use your specific address if you're worried again about getting hacked or your identity stolen, but I would use at least the same city because recruiters will be looking for local people in their area to hire for their local jobs. So it is important that you use a relatively close zip code and location. That way recruiters can find you for their jobs in your area. Now, your recent job title, I would encourage you to actually use your most recent job title. You don't need to lie about this. They're not going to be able to steal your identity just because they know what your current job title is. And for this, try to use something that is really common in the industry, right? Don't use any special nomenclature that your company uses. Rather, use what most companies and job descriptions would be using in order to find people. So, for example, I am a recruiter. Now, if your company calls you talent acquisition specialists or people finder or something like that, just know that you should not use that because that's not what a lot of recruiters are going to be using to find you. So use the most common verbiage for your job. For your employment type, put either full-time or contract, depending on whatever is applicable for you. And then you can put your most recent company. Don't worry, they still won't be able to steal your identity just because they know what job title you have and what company that you work for. So I'll just put Google for now. Now you need to confirm your email. There is going to be a code that will be sent to your brand new email. So all you got to do is go there, check it out, copy it, paste, agree and confirm. Here you can say, I would say yes, I'm actively looking for a new job. Even though you're not looking for a job right now, you should still check this box because there is a setting that recruiters can use on LinkedIn to find more people. And they're going to select a button that says only show me people that are actively looking for a job. You should still put this again, even if you're not looking for a job, because it'll just allow you to show up in more searches and get more op job opportunities coming to you. You don't have to respond to everybody. Remember, this is just to give you more opportunities. That's all it is. You click next. And then you could just put whatever type of job you want. Again, if it's use the common nomenclature. So for me, I'm a recruiter. And I would want to find other jobs with recruiter. And then you can put you know, remote by just checking this box. But I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now this is really important here. There are specific cities you can put and then there's broader metropolitan areas. I would suggest you put the broader metropolitan area because then you'll be open to more jobs than just your specific area. So for example, the city that I live in, um, in the Bay Area, is just one of the many cities in the Bay Area. The Bay Area consists of San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, Palo Alto, Berkeley, all of those cities in between all comprise the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, I do live in one of those cities. I'm not going to say what it is because, you know, people may steal my identity or something. So just put the broader metropolitan area and this will allow you to get more job opportunities. And remember, you don't have to commute all the time. If you're worried about, oh, they're going to make me drive really far. Don't worry about that. Usually it's negotiable or right now there are hybrid or fully remote working opportunities. This again will just open up more doors for you. And if you're open to remote work, simply just check that box as well. Now, get notified when new jobs are posted. You can choose to do this or you can choose not to. If you're not actively looking for a job, this is going to really spam and fill up your inbox of your email. So maybe you don't check this. So that way you're not getting notified of new jobs being posted. This is only for job postings. This does not stop recruiters from sending you messages and letting you know about awesome opportunities. Now here you can share this with the recruiters. I would actually encourage you to do this because again, this gives you more job opportunities. And remember, we haven't given away any personal secretive confidential information that would allow somebody to steal your identity because you only have your first name and your last initial and a general area of where you live and the company you work for. Get the app to stay ahead. Sure, you just say yes. And then you can connect with some people, but you don't necessarily have to. Just scroll and just say skip for now. You can say nope. You don't have to do any of that if you don't want to. Because again, I'm just showing you how to set up the bare minimum what you need to get a LinkedIn going so you can get more opportunities. So now this is your LinkedIn 
home screen. This is kind of like your Facebook home page or your Instagram feed, right? This is where you can go to look at articles and see what your friends and colleagues and things that you're connected with are posting. But when you're setting up your account, all you got to do is click up here and then you're going to click view profile right here. And now we're just going to set it up with the bare, bare minimum. So here, all I would say is you don't need to put a photo. Right? If you're worried about getting hacked or someone stealing your identity, you do not need to put a photo. This will not stop recruiters from messaging you. Just because you don't have a photo doesn't really matter. The main thing is that you are filling out what is down here. So here you're going to want to put your experience. So if you have only worked at one company, then just put that company down. If you've worked at multiple places, then I would say you should add another area by clicking this plus right here add position and then you can add if you've worked at any other place before that and you can put the time frame all right so all you get to do is put you know maybe in my case you know i was a recruiter before full time it was at let's say apple you don't need to put the location if you're worried about people stealing your identity and then you can just put a year that you were there Right? Maybe I worked there from 2018 and then I, uh, you make sure you say you're not currently working there. I was there 2018 to let's say 2020, two years. You don't have to put a description if you don't want to. You don't have to put skills if you don't want to and then you just click save. And then maybe you want to add your time frame here. You're currently here. This just shows 2020. So this is what I'm basically saying is I'm still working here and there's no gap in my work history. So what I'm saying is I was a recruiter for two years at this company from 2018 to 2020. And then I basically just got this job here from 2020 till now. So now no one will ever think that I got fired or I got laid off or anything like that because now I have no gaps in my work employment. And then you just go back and now this is basically my profile. This is the bare bones that you need so that you can get found by recruiters. That's it. Super, super simple. Of course, if you wanted to optimize your LinkedIn and you wanted to show up in even more searches and really get more job opportunities, there's a whole lot more you can do here. But I'm just trying to show people how to set this up with the least amount of effort and still get job opportunities without compromising your confidentiality or your identity on the internet. This is all you need to do, super easy. All right, so now you know why having a LinkedIn is so valuable, and now you know how to set one up in less than five minutes. So go ahead, take advantage of this awesome tool so you can get awesome pay raises and new opportunities in case something happens to your job or something really awesome comes along. And once you have your LinkedIn set up, you're gonna start to check messages. So I would say you should check your messages maybe once a month or maybe twice a month. You don't really have to check every single day just to see what's coming in because if you're pretty happy at work, you don't have to really check this too frequently. But you should check it every once in a while. And as a pro tip, when you are looking for a new job later on, go back to all of the previous messages and recruiters that reached out to you in the past and ask them if they're still hiring or if they are at a new company, if their new company is hiring as well. So once you start to get these opportunities, if you are interested and you need to prepare for some interviews so you can actually get these awesome jobs, make sure you click this video playlist right over here so you can ace all your upcoming interviews. Thank you all for watching this video and don't be afraid to shake things up.